You might be watching this video because your Adobe Captivate CPTX file has become corrupt. I probably can't help you with that, but I can show you what you need to know to prevent that from happening in the future. Okay, so I have this project open and, you know, for argument's sake, let's say I've been working on it for uh, weeks and weeks and I'm just about ready to save it and, and uh, you know, go back to my additional work here. Um, and uh, what happens is during the save, uh, my computer shuts down or due to a power failure or something along those lines. And because it didn't fully save the file to its original location, what happens is that file becomes corrupt. Well, what happens to your project? Well, in this case, unfortunately, because there was only one copy of that project and I was in the middle of saving to the only file that I have, perhaps that project is gone. Perhaps the file has become corrupt. Uh, you may be able to work with your IT department to recover some of it. But the, the problem is, is that there's no backup created. So it's important that you set up a feature that's built into Adobe Captivate that does exactly that. It backs up and makes a, a copy of every save that you make. So if I go to my desktop right now, you can see that I've created such a situation where I've got my original file here. I'm going to actually delete these and kind of show you what happens with uh, with Captivate. I'm just going to resize my Captivate window so you can see my desktop at the same time. So there's my project there. And um, let's say I'm, I'm working on this for the very first time. I'm going to simply hit uh, save as and we'll call it we'll put it on my desktop so you can see it there and we're going to call it demo.cptx and what that does is it as you would expect it creates a file called demo.cptx and that's fantastic but if you enable this feature that i'll show you about now if i click on my edit drop down menu and go down to preferences take a look under the category of general settings you'll see an option to generate a project backup. Make sure that's checked off. And what's going to happen is on all subsequent saves, it's going to make a backup of the current file and then save over top of the original file. So let me show you what happens here. So I'm gonna hit save once more and it will copy this to a backup file and then save right over top. So let's just do that. So there you can see that it's generated demo.cptx.back, which is fantastic. So this represents the condition of my project prior to the most recent save. And this represents my project, including the most recent save. So if, for example, I was to make some changes to this project right now and then hit save and suddenly my power went out or suddenly someone disconnected my external hard drive for some reason um, you know nothing's lost I, all i need to do is delete the now corrupted file which i'll just do that by throwing it in my recycle bin and then we're just going to hit f2 and rename this file to be .cptx. It's going to get a, a little warning here saying, are you sure you want to change this uh, uh, file extension? I'm going to say yes. And now I have not the most recent save, but the one before. So as long as you're saving, let's say every 10 minutes or every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes, you're only going to lose that amount of information rather than possibly weeks or even months worth of work. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.